And coming up next, we'll explore the business behind Art World when producer David Weir talks with longtime South Florida art dealer Bruce Hallander, who's currently the curator of Art House 429 in Palm Beach. Dave asked Bruce about the happenings at the gallery. Well, the Russians are coming. The Russians, <laughs> the Russians are, coming, are coming, just right. like they said in the in the old movie there, uh, at Art House Four Two Nine in historic uh, Northwood. Uh, I'm curating a show for Sergei Fedotov, uh, a Russian artist coming from Moscow, all the way from Moscow to present a new series of paintings that are really uh, among the most exciting for the entire art season here in Palm Beach. Okay, that's great. Well, you know, you ran a, a gallery on Worth Avenue for 15 years, very well known in the art circles down here in South Florida. What's so special about having the Russians come around and, and with all this stuff? Well, I think, uh, you know, the art world depends on uh, new work, new vitality, uh, new discoveries. And uh, the work of Sergei Fedotov has been talked about all over the place. He had a, a great show in Los Angeles last year. He's going to be having a show at the Coral Springs Museum a year from now. Right. So Art House 429 is very fortunate to get these works, which combine a kind of uh, narrative uh, picture making with abstract expressionism. So it's a marriage of the two, and that's what makes them unusual. Uh, great works of art have a kind of eccentricity to them, something new, something exciting, aggressive surfaces, mm -hmm. things like that, and that's what the paintings do. Well, wh what, what does this guy paint? I mean, uh, uh, does he paint pictures of landscapes or people, or what, what, what's the deal? Well, you know, the interesting thing is that he can attack any kind of project, whether, <laughs> whether it be a bowl of flowers, whether it be a portrait of a person, uh, whether it be a forest from the trees, right. but he has a way, a very engaging approach to combine an abstraction of the subject that he's trying to paint and still allow the viewer to be able to identify what the subject is. And that combination is what makes these things interesting and why he's become so collectible. Okay, so he paints an abstract of a nude, but you know it's a nude. You know it's a nude, nude and you know it's abstract. <laughs> All right, that's right. Well, listen, are uh, these paintings selling across the world? You They're think? doing well. Uh, they, they did extremely well at the Los Angeles Art Show last year. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there are lots of collectors that are seeking out abstract expressionism, especially his kind of work. Yeah. So well, I think the gallery thinks they're going to do, you know, pretty well. well what's the tab on one of these things? Uh, well, the paintings uh, range uh, from about eight thousand all the way up to twenty and thirty thousand yeah. dollars or more, depending, of course, on the size. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that always. Right. Art has become. Uh, uh, a real solid investment in the last 15 or 20 years. Uh, there really isn't a commodity that will give you a payback larger than great contemporary art. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things is the, the painting, The Scream, mm -hmm. which I, you know, I've got a hundred million bucks for that, which to me now, I look at it and it looks like it's a fifth grade scrawl, mm -hmm. you know, but. <laughs> Steve Cohen and uh, the hedge fund guy, he paid a hundred million bucks for it. You know, that, yeah. Well, it's got a screaming price tag to it, that's <laughs> yeah. for sure. Well, you know, yeah. uh, in my gallery, uh, 20 years ago, I had Andy Warhol in the window. I had a yeah. painting that was dollar bill signs, which kind of relates to our program here. Nobody wanted it. It was $18,000, and I saw it. The same painting three years ago sold at auction for $12 million. Oh my that is a 35,000% return on investment. So that's why we're interested in contemporary right, art, and yeah. that's why it seems like this show is really going to be uh, uh, eye-popping. Well, when's it going to happen? Uh, uh, this is uh, opens on November the 14th right. and uh, runs through December the 5th. Uh, there will be a lecture the following Saturday at the Center for Contemporary Education. Uh, the Art House 429 is uh, sponsoring that lecture. Uh, Art House 429 is in uh, Northwood in yep. West Palm Beach. Yes. And, uh, it's a very wonderful gallery, and uh, why did why did Mr. Halliday select Northwood? Well, he uh, he came uh, through uh, 
Palm Beach County and was looking for a neighborhood that he thought like Chelsea, like West Broadway, like Soho, uh, could go in and buy property early on, right. renovate it, turn it into a first class gallery, and now other galleries and restaurants are also coming in. So it's acting as uh, like a magnet. So I think it's the idea of a man coming in, looking around at something that has a great potential and a great space to show contemporary art, and then going for it. And it's really paid off. All righty. God bless you, Bruce Helander, and good luck. Nice to see you again, David. All righty.